Yo, 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 it's your boy, Mega Sakari, and welcome to ShootoCon 2023. Oops, sorry, wrong convention. <clears throat> welcome to YomaCon 2023. The search for more money. My name is Mega Sakari, and I am the new PR guy for YomaCon, and I am here to help get everyone excited for this year's convention. Now we have a lot of info to get through, so let's separate brick by brick. Sock magic. Sadly, our king of YomaCon, John St. John, cannot join us once again due to, uh, reasons. But that's okay, because we have a slew of new guests this year. We got a new flavor of DBZ VAs this year with Ian James Corlett and Brian Drummond, as well as fellow Canadian David Kay. We also have the Power Rangers, but in space! How exciting is that? What's that? Yomacon is on some sort of voice acting blacklist, and that's why we haven't had many guests these last few years? <laughs> that's just hearsay. We take care of all our guests with the same care you expect from a well-established anime convention. We got arcade machines. We got regular gaming machines. We even got that weird square rhythm game everyone seems to enjoy. What we don't have is tournaments. That's right, there are no video game tournaments this year at Yomacon. We uh, ran out of money in that sector. What's that? You're wondering where the money is going. Don't worry about it. We here at Yomacon love our community. The ones who have helped us out on fleshing out our programming for all these years. And thanking our committed community, we offer only the best in reimbursement. You gotta pay for your badge up front. Then we pay you back after the con. However, this is first come first serve. So if we ran out of money, well, that's too bad. Thank you for your service, though. Ever since the disaster that was Yomacon 2019's Artist Alley, we have taken steps to ensure the best foot forward for our artists. The solution? No Artist Alley. None. Can't have a bad Artist Alley if there is no Artist Alley to begin with. While we are at it, we decided to do away with vendors as well. I mean, come on, you're already gonna be gouging a metric fuck ton of money into just getting here. It'll be hard for the vendors if the attendees don't have money to spend. If anything, we're doing them a favor. What's that? You're still wondering where that money our attendees are spending is going? I said don't worry about it. We've heard you loud and clear, and after your patient waiting, we finally have an announcement about the hotel blocks. There are none! Instead, we are taking the camping approach to Yomacon this year, and have everyone camp out in the Convention Center parking lot. Experience the comfortable 30 degree weather of Michigan in November, the excitement of trying to pee in a plastic bottle, and enjoy the interaction with the local Detroit community. Best of all, it's free! For us, anyway, you still gotta bring your own camping gear. We here at Yomacon enjoy a bit of charity. Over the last decade, we have helped with charities across the country with their plight. What's that? The charities we promised to help out didn't receive any of our funding. Not a single dime? And now you're asking where all that money went? Didn't I fucking say not to worry about it? Do I look like the guy who knows these things? I'm the PR guy for God's sakes. How the fuck am I supposed to know the answer as to why the con convention keeps suspiciously running out of funds despite its painfully obvious withholding of charity funds? Do I look like the IRS to you? No, fuck this. I'm out. I quit. If anyone else is looking for a PR position, Yomacon just got an opening. Good luck out there, everyone. I'm out. Fuck this. 